Hi everyone, just a quick video introducing you to my new lens. This is the Canon 16 to 35 mm f 2.8 Ultrasonic USM EF Mark II USM something lens. Uh, so it's the they're pretty much their widest angle uh, for a full frame. That's pretty much as wide as you can get. You can get up to 14 millimeters, but they don't have any lenses which actually do that uh, with a zoom. What I mean. So this is. 16 to 35 so it's like two times zoom and it's ultra wide so it sees everything it's an f 2.8 so it's nice and fast it's an l series lens so it's considered to be their super professional lenses usm for ultrasonic motor so it's nice and silent as it focuses and it should mean it's also a fast focusing selection bit ef meaning it's a full frame so it will work on both the cropped sensor cameras and your full frame camera it has a little button on the side saying autofocus or manual focus for you to have a little play around on that as well. Comes with a lens hood, which I'm surprised for something that wide. It's got a lens hood which fits on the front. The front of it though, this is a huge front. This is 82mm, so the big bummer there is that I need to get some new filters. Both Koken neutral density graduated filters to fit in the front there, which is good because I can because it rotates because it's got the filter thread. However, uh, circular polarizers are going to cost a fortune and even just like a, a UV filter is going to cost a fortune to get that uh, covered, which I do want to do because this is an expensive lens. To buy it new, it's around about £1,200. However, as you know me, I like stuff which is second hand or I like stuff which is cheap. Uh, and this was uh, second hand, it was £799. So still, it's not a cheap lens, even second hand. However, it's working absolutely perfectly. No scratches, no dust, no nothing inside. And I guess that's what it is when you've got an L series lens, you don't get crap going inside. There's also a bit of a rubber gasket, or is it called an O-ring, uh, around there. So I think it's pretty darn good for being weatherproofed, or at least rainproof. I think if I went outside in bad weather and there's a bit of moisture, I wouldn't need to worry about it because it seems very solidly built. However, it is heavy as chuff. Um, so that, that's, that's another thing, is that is about a kilogram, this is about a kilogram, this is a two kilogram camera now going on. Let's not stick a flash on. Oh my god, it's gonna be so heavy. Um, but yeah, so far this is just an introduction and we're gonna do some reviews about it coming up soon. Cheers, bye bye.